What's up everyone and welcome to the club. Today you and I will be drawing Cinema Man from Skibbity Toilet. Let's begin today's lesson at the top of our page and draw a large rectangle for the head. We're going to start by drawing a straight line going across from left to right. So start on the left side, go all the way across towards the right. Now from the ends, draw a straight line coming down. Now this is going to be a shorter line than the one we have on top. And we'll close off the bottom with a straight line. Now you want to give the inside of the frame a slight curve. So from the corners, we're going to step in, start with a small point, just aiming towards the center. So aiming towards the center, adding that point. Now we connect the top and bottom point with a curve. We're just going to bend this out, come down, and then in towards that bottom point. Let's do the same thing across the top. Starting from the left, bend this up, go across, and then down. Now with the head complete, we're going to move down and draw a large square across the center of the body. So we're going to step in, come down, draw a straight line going across the top of the body. Let's draw that same length line coming down the sides. And we'll close off the bottom with another straight line. Let's connect the head to the body. So from the top corners of our square, we're gonna step in, draw two lines going up about halfway, and we'll close off the top. Now from the bottom corners of the TV, we're gonna angle this down and then in, just on the inside of that outside corner. Now you wanna fill the inside of the body with some various size circles for the speakers. We're gonna start at the very top in the middle, Draw a circle, and I'll trace that along the inside. Now on either side along the top, we'll draw three smaller circles. Let's we'll start on the outside, and just work our way in, and then we'll do the same thing on the right. Just down below, we're going to add two slightly larger circles. and then adding one small circle in the center. Now we're gonna add three rows of speakers. Let's start over on the left side, draw that same size circle we have in the middle, going all the way around, and then back up. And we'll add that smaller circle in the center. Now in the center, we'll draw four small circles. Start with the top. Move down and draw two more. And then add a smaller circle in the center of each circle. Let's add another set of four on the right side. So again, starting from the top and then the bottom. And then adding a smaller circle in the center. Now along this bottom row, we're going to add three sets of four circles. Now on the left side, we're going to draw two large circles on the top left and bottom right. So we'll start at the top, and then come down. And then on the top right and bottom left, add two small circles. Let's add two small circles along the inside of those larger circles. Let's repeat that same pattern two more times going out towards the right. So we start at the top. Working our way across. Now let's repeat those same steps. Now that we complete the body, let's draw the bottom of the coat. We're going to leave a gap in the center, start over on the left. I'm just going to bend this down and out towards the bottom of the coat. Go over towards the right, then it's out, and then down towards the same height. Let's round out the bottom of the coat, going out and then up towards the side. 
Now you want to draw that same curve on the outside going up and then in underneath the bottom. Let's add two circles on either side along the top for the buttons. Now along the top in the center, add a curve. We're gonna go up and then down. Let's leave a gap in the center. We go to the left side. We're gonna bend the left leg going out and then down towards the left heel. Go to the right, go out and then down towards the right heel. Let's round out the bottom of the feet. Starting from the left heel, bend the foot. Coming down and then up. Now on the outside, we're gonna draw the top of the foot. We're gonna bend this up, come down, aiming towards the heel, and we'll just curl that back up towards the inside of the leg. Let's add a thick sole along the bottom of the feet. Taking this curve, we're gonna step up and just trace that across on both sides. Now we're drawing the outside leg from the bottom corners of the coat. We're going to step in. It's going to bend the leg going out and then down on top of the feet. Now you want to wrap the coat in behind the legs. So along the top, we're going to add one more curve going up and then down. And now let's go back up to the top and add those speakers on top of the shoulders. We're going to start from the top corner of the body. We're going to angle this down and then out towards the side. Let's go to the right side and do the same thing. Just sloping this down. On the outside, we're gonna angle this up and out towards the top of the speaker, right about there. And then draw that same length line across the top, going up and in. Now you wanna make our way back down towards that inside corner. We're gonna probably go in behind the corner of the head and continue along the bottom. From the inside corner, draw a straight line coming in just beside the head. And we'll follow that same angle line coming down and then in towards the side. Now let's go back and draw on the arms. We're going to start halfway down the side of the body. So right here, bend the arm going out and then down towards the wrist. And then we'll line that up on the right side. From the wrist, draw a half circle coming in and out for the thumb. Then we'll close off the end with a bracket. Now we're gonna add three fingers on either side. Let's start from the bottom of the thumb. We're gonna come down and bend that up around the bracket. Step down, draw the second finger. And then the third finger, we're gonna go all the way around, bend the arm, go up, and then in underneath the speaker. Let's separate the cuff with a curve. Start from the top of the thumb, bend this up, and then down. Now on the outside of the arm, we're gonna add those blades. Let's start with the base first. Start from the outside, draw a straight angle line going up and out. Just line it up on the right. Round up the end. And then come straight in towards the side of the arm. From the outside corner, draw a straight angle line coming down and out. I'm just gonna angle this in towards the hand. I'm going to taper those lines going back in. So go up and straight in. Let's go up to the top, draw a straight line going up underneath the speaker. Step in, draw that again. Let's go back and add some more detail to the speaker. Along the bottom, we're going to add a large circle going all the way around and then draw that same size circle on the bottom right. Let's add a smaller circle in the center. And then going up to the top, draw a straight line, flatten off the ends, and then close off the bottom. Now in the center, draw a small circle. Let's repeat that over on the right side.
Now on top of the speakers, we're gonna add a set of blades. Let's start from the inside, step out, angle it up and out to right about there. And then do the same thing on the right. Angle it up and out. Now from the tip, come down and in towards the bottom. Draw a short angle line going up and in. And it'll follow that angle line coming back down on top of the speaker. Now you want to draw that same shape two more times, just layer it in behind. So from the tip, step down, go up and out. Come down, go up with an angle line, and then back down. Do that one more time. Now let's repeat that over on the right. Stepping down from the tip, just tracing those same lines going across towards the bottom, and then do that one more time. Now you want to layer those propellers in behind. Let's start in between the speaker and the head. Draw a straight angle line going up and out to right about there. And do the same thing on the right. Now I just want to round up the top and then follow that same angle coming back in towards the side of the head. Now we're going to add some propellers across the top. Let's start from the top of this curve, angle this up and in to right about there. And do the same thing on the right. Let's go back to the left side, angle this up and then out. Now from the side, it's going to angle this down in behind those blades, and then we're just going to continue towards the outside. Let's go to the inside, it's going to angle this down in behind the head. Now we're going to add the blades around the propeller. From the end, angle this down, follow this line coming in, and just slope this down towards that center line. I'm going to place the blade on the left side of each line. Let's go to the right and do the same thing. Let's add one more blade across the bottom. And now we're going to sign our art and add a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. That's how we draw Cinema Man for Skibbity Toilet. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. We've got some exciting news to share with all of you. We're offering a variety of incredible options to level up your art skills. Join our exclusive masterclass memberships for just $1 a month or catch more free tutorials on our Excel sketch channel every week. Don't miss out on any of these amazing opportunities. So subscribe or join today.